Hey, everybody, Ann here. Good morning, Romeo. Sitting here in front of the chickens, having my coffee with all you. And I slept pretty good last night, but I tell you what, after I got done doing the footage of the little baby chicks in their little run, um, it started storming. It was like the wind first came, it, and it came very quickly. The, the trees, I've got very tall trees all over the place, and they were just whipping and swirling around, and I was hearing the cracking and thudding over here and cracking and thudding over there. And then the rain came, and I had to get those baby chicks out of that run. And normally it takes me, I don't know, the last time I had the baby chicks in there, I could wrangle them pretty easily because they wouldn't run quite as much. But these baby chicks were raised by... A mother hen you know a real hen and I think she taught him to be kind of leery of humans and other you know creatures and whatnot so they are very fast and they are very afraid of me still I haven't done a lot of handling of them so I've got to change that so I couldn't catch them I just couldn't catch them no matter how I tried to wrangle them I could not catch them so um, what I ended up having to do is I got this this big cloth thing and I actually had to get down on my hands and knees and crawl into that chicken run. The good thing is, is I fit. <laughs> About five or six years ago, no, I would not have fit. My big butt would not have fit in that door. So I had to crawl in there and um, I just put them all in a corner and I put the cloth over the top of them and just kind of scooped them all up at once and ran them into their little run. And those poor chicks were so, whoops, hi, Papa. They were so terrified, and so I, I turned, and this was early, this was early in the day, I mean, it must have been, I don't know, it was before five, I know that much, um, so I turned on the heat mat in the back, but they weren't going there, they were all just huddling together out in the middle of the brooding area, but uh, I got up this morning, and they were all just fine, in fact, I don't know if Miss Pris had tried to get back in there, what you doing, Papa? But the the netting was disturbed, and one of the white baby chicks was on the outside when I opened the van door, just by the, the brooder area, and the other chickens did nothing to it. So, um, I don't know. I think that's uh, the integration thing is going to go okay, because all these chickens have been watching and noticing these... I can't believe I can... I can see my breath out here. Crazy. Anyhow, um, so the chicks made it through the night just fine. Uh, it's supposed to be sunny today. I don't know if it's actually going to be warm enough to be able to put the chicks in the run today. We'll just have to see. I may, after the chickens are done laying, I may just let them roam about inside the van. So, um, but my goal is today to work on one or two things, either or, or maybe both. I want to get some fencing. I want to see how much I can get up there. And then I want to work on digging the little pond thing deeper. So who knows what will happen. I just got to finish my coffee and figure it out. I now have basil. Remember that little bicycle planter thing my mom sent me? I planted basil and it's sprouting like crazy. Look at that. This is what it looks like from this view. I can't wait till it starts growing up over it. It's going to look so pretty. The eggplant is finally coming up. There's one there. I'm not going to disturb the soil, but there's one there. And I think there may be some more coming up here. I'm so relieved. I got tomato flowers. I'm going to have fruits. There's some on this one too. Yeah, these tomatoes are definitely doing better here. The multicolor peppers are finally growing. Oh, I'm so happy. Yep, I'll definitely have to separate these out because there's too many in this bucket, but I'm just happy they're growing. I replanted the cherry tomatoes, and I got quite a few coming up right there. Yeah, I'm going to have to thin those out, too. Thank you, chickens, for laying me an egg. I think the borage is starting to come up. There's a couple other spots, too. Let me look at them. That might be one. That might be one, too. It should be over here, but the seeds may have gravitated a little bit. I don't know. I've never grown borage before, so I don't know what baby borage looks like. That's got to be a borage coming up. It has to be. I think so. And maybe there too. I hope so. These steak tomatoes are coming up. Yep, they are. Let's look at the down tree situation. That's just a big limb. Not very big, but big enough. Very close to the tiny house. But I'll just break it up and burn it in fire. 
there's these over here. Whew, look at that one. Yeah, that just broke into pieces. Oh my goodness. But it'll burn. More here. Oh, look at you guys. Pretty moss. Pretty lichen. That's going in the yard. I got poplar trees. And I guess these are the flowers. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you guys, I wanted to tell you too. Ah, ah, Papa, come. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, this area here, I mowed it with that little reel mower. And uh, didn't do half bad job. There's still some tall stuff sticking up. I did this whole area. I went this way first and then this way second. You know, it, it needs to be done better, that's for sure. Papa! Papa! Papa went to Mr. Lucas. Oh, I'm going to have to go get him. But anyhow, yeah, so I mowed in this area. Look at this. Look at the size of this that came down. Whoo! I'm going to have to get the mini chainsaw or the baco out to take care of this. Oh my gosh. Another one over there. More over there. More over there. Whew. Where did that come down off of? It must have come. Let me pan slowly. It had to have come off of that tree right there. I think that tree is, yeah, it looks like that tree is dead, so that tree is going to have to come down. You know what? It doesn't look half bad, and it's been a day since I mowed it, too, and things go very quickly here. So technically, I can mow this whole area. Now you can see back there where it's taller, where I didn't do. You can see where I stopped. I just got tired. But it is a relief to know at least I can do that much. I got him back. It took some hollering, but he finally came. Come on, big boy. Oh, he's so happy to be free. I'm in the shade. You can't see me. So I got to go pick up all this wood, and I've decided on planting. Because to do the fence, I've got to get bamboo, and it's too wet over there to cut down bamboo right now. So it's a planting day. Here's my big project for the day. Remember that uh, bucket that had all those tomatoes that I sprouted from seed? Well, I separated them into four different little buckets. Um, I don't know. I might let two grow in here and two grow in here and just one in each of these. But I put them over here because the sun looks better. And this soil is better. So those tomatoes over on the other side, let me show them to you. See these tomatoes? I don't think it's a sun issue. Although, look at you know, don't, don't let me get in this. Look, I've got one little flower going on. Look at those leaves, though. I think Rick from Gnomestead Railways, I think he's right. I think that this is a nitrogen deficiency. Uh, it could also be, you know, it could be something else. I don't know, but I think that's what it is. Um, I think this whole bed is deficient, honestly. I'm not going to transplant them. I'm just going to let these go. I'm going to add some fertilizer to it and see if that helps at all. But yeah, these tomato plants are not doing nearly as well. In fact, none of these plants that are in these garden beds are doing as well. And it's because I use a different soil formulation. So I'm thinking I'm really going to have to work this soil up with some fertilizer to get these plants to grow. Look at these ridiculous things. See these? These are going to bend over and go down into the dirt and transplant themselves. Yeah, that's supposed to be the passion fruit vine. Nothing's growing. So when I weeded out or thinned out those tomatoes, I just plunked a bunch down in there and plunked a bunch down in there. So I don't know if they'll grow. That is last year's soil, and that's not as good of soil. So we'll just see if it grows. One last thing I wanted to show you in my garden is look at, I have new growth coming up. Yep, they come up from the soil, from, you know, runners that go underneath the soil. And each year the mature plants die back. And the first year plants, these won't give me any berries. But this one, once it dives off and comes back, it'll give me berries. These will give me berries next year. This one's already going to give me berries because I've already got one little flower over there. I lied. I had to do one more thing. <laughs> got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.